I am so scared. There's spiders everywhere. Wait a minute, that's not a spider, that's a big leaf-footed bug. But prepare yourself, because the coolest spider of the southeast is coming up. My dad and I are venturing deep into a hydrocamic off the Florida Gulf Coast. We are looking for the ogre face spider. However, we find lots of other stuff, like this molting cockroach. And a green anole resting in a tree. But we found something cool. We caught it. We said it was here. That is an ogre face spider. You know, the net throwing spiders. This one doesn't have a net, but you know what? Where there's one, there's more of them. Well, that didn't take long. Another one right here. And this one also does not have a net. Hasn't quite built it yet. Okay, we found it. We found an ogre face with its web out. And right here getting some good up close footage right now. Ogre face spiders aren't your typical web builders. They make a net that they use to capture their prey. The net itself is surprising because it's stretchy, kind of like a bungee cord. And unlike other spiders webs, the ogre faced web doesn't have this sticky glue like substance on it. The prey instead fastens to the net more like the annoying string you can't vacuum off your carpet. Take a look at our two largest eyes. They are perfectly adapted to seeing prey at night, but they don't just use vision, they can also hear. They don't hear like you and I. They detect sound waves from the tips of their feet, which is convenient if there's a bug flying by. We got a baby. Baby. A baby ogre. Can barely see it. Can you point to it real quick? It's right. There. It is tiny. We're gonna run a little experiment. Now, I know these guys have really good eyesight, but the thing is, is they also have really good hearing. They can hear low frequencies, like from a moth flying by. We're gonna go ahead and do this experiment and see if we can capture it. What we did here is we played a bunch of different low frequencies until we got a reaction. And here it is. Super excited to see these guys. This is only the second place I've actually found them in. Kind of a similar habitat to that the other place I found them in had a lot of sable palms, but it was a dry hammock. The place we're in right now is not a dry hammock. It's actually a hydric forest, and we are right next to the coast. Right over there is a prairie marsh. But this is cool. They're really hard to find because during the daytime they kind of hide in areas like this. They just put their arms out and blend in and they look like a stick. You won't see them. At night time is the best time to find them with their nets out. And keep your eyes out, maybe you'll find one. If you enjoyed this, subscribe. And I'll see you next time on the next thing we find. Bye.